Hey there, what's going on? Kate McShay here from katemcshay.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you 10 ways to engage with fans or followers on social media that get your fans and your followers to know you, like you, and trust you. So then when you put out your products or services or you recommend something that they should opt into to become a lead, they are much more willing to do so because you are not somebody who they necessarily don't really know a lot about anymore. They've become 100% trusted in you and your advice. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. So let's hop right into it. Okay. So one of my favorite ways to engage with my fans on Facebook is through questioning, okay? So one of the best ways to know, especially if you're someone who's worried about coming up with content topics or you're just not quite sure exactly what you need to do to, to serve the people that you are trying to market to, ask them. So that's why it's important to have followings on Twitter, followings on, you know, subscribers on your YouTube channel, to have fans on your Facebook page, wherever you're, to have Instagram followers, right? It's important because those are the people you want to communicate with in order to make sure that you're providing the right kind of value to them. So asking questions are great. You know, what's your favorite way to generate leads online? This is a real, this is, this one's uh, awesome. And I hope you guys take this away, um, you take this one seriously. So when you're asking about pains and struggles, make sure that you you phrase it in a way that they don't feel like they're sharing their pains and struggles, okay? Because I don't know about you, but if someone were to ask me what I'm struggling with, I'm not necessarily gonna post that on social media. So when you frame the question like this, why, what is it that, or what do you think most people struggle with when it comes to closing more sales online? What they can do is then they can answer that question and they can answer that question feeling comfortable because it's not necessarily saying that they're struggling with that issue, even though they might be, but it's just their opinion on what they think. Okay, so asking any kind of question to help gauge what you can do to help people more is going to be beneficial to you. Plus, it gives you ideas for extra training topics and it helps you answer their questions. So again, it raises that trust factor. Video. Utilizing video on social media is absolutely critical okay whether you're doing it through training videos whether you're doing it through showing your lifestyle if you're on vacation showing where you're at this is a great way for people to be instantly connected to you now do you have to have your face on the screen no do i highly suggest you do if you're branding yourself yes uh, there are lots of other um other resources and strategies you can use a powerpoint kind of like i'm using today and just cut you know cut me out of there um or you can use, I love Powtoons. Powtoons is a really great resource right now that I've been utilizing. Um, so you can definitely work around having to show yourself out there. But if you are someone who's branding yourself, highly suggest you do. Uh, inspirational ways to engage with your fans. All right. Some of you may like it. You may not. But you know all those memes and those quotes and those images? They work. People like that stuff. Social media is about engagement. It's about what people like. And people like images. They like positive images. They like quotes that inspire them. So utilize them. Do you, should you post eight of them a day? No, I suggest doing one each day or one every other day, but do something that has to do with what you're promoting and who you are as a brand or who your company is as a brand. Okay. Inspiring others definitely is something that uh, will make people see you as a leader. And that's what you want to do. Okay. This is one of the best tips that I ever learned and that I just tested out on a whim one day when I was just having a bad day. And it's vulnerability. I created a video one day when I was having a really rough day in the beginning when I first started out and that video went viral. And it went viral and I got a ton of content um, comments because people could relate with where I was at. They were either relating with where I was at. I was really struggling. I was struggling in my business, but I was talking about perseverance and I was talking about moving forward, but I was very honest with what I was going through, okay? And every time I do a post, whether it's through a video or it's just through a big, long post, it gets a ton of engagement because here's the thing. People instantly connect to you then. They relate to you. They are either going through the same thing at that time as well, or they've been through that situation in the past. And so failures, things that didn't work, okay, um, things that maybe you're not proud of, those are the things that people actually like to hear because 
when you look at someone who's highly successful or you look at someone who's building a business and all you hear about is their perfection, then it makes it feel unattainable to someone who is just starting out or to someone, even if it's in health and wellness, right? And you only talk about the perfection of, of losing, you know, 75 pounds, that person who needs to lose that 75 pounds can't quite see it for themselves yet. So that's why in health and wellness, you see a lot of people show those before and after pics. So get comfortable with being vulnerable. People will soak it up and they will love you more for it. All right, five steps in, okay? Let's talk about opinions. So what do you think kind of opinions, all right? So similar to asking questions, but asking people what they like or what they prefer. What I like to do is forced options or forced opinions. Um, I will give them two different choices that they get to pick from. So, um, you know, for instance, for example, what do you like more? Do you like, um, do you like video? Do you like consuming content through video or do you like consuming content through just plain text articles? Okay, so I'll give them two options and then oftentimes I'll put or an other, um, another choice and comment below with that other is, be specific, all right? So anytime I can give opinions, I can ask people for opinions, I tend to get a ton of engagement, I get a ton of comments, and that's really helpful on social media to get that organic reach up. Now, I told you I was gonna share 10, I don't want this video to be 25 minutes long, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to actually create a second post, and this second post will have the rest of the five, or the, the other five ways to engage with fans or followers, so keep a lookout for that. I will make sure once it's done that I also attach it into this blog post as well, okay? But just let me know right now, out of these five, which one is your favorite way to engage with your fans or your followers that you're having that you have in your business. What's what's your favorite way? Is it questions? Is it video? Is it <coughs> inspirational quotes? Is it being vulnerable and being in that vulnerable state? Is it asking opinions? What is it? Or do you have another one? And you can always comment below with those as well too. So make sure that you keep a lookout because I will be giving you access to that second blog post very, very soon. So keep a lookout on my blog and I will see you with the next five ways that are my favorite to engage with fans or followers on social media. See you soon.